Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your host, Dominic Peterson, a.k.a. Duck Zone 503. And today, man, I'm doing a get to know series, man. Um, I try to get the, the newest Oregon Ducks that commit on the channel if I can, if they get the time and do a get to know series where I really go in depth uh, in their personal life a little bit, get to know them as a person and then get to get to hear what they're excited about for this upcoming season. So today, man, I got a big, big time player. I got 2022 Oregon Ducks commit Kyler Casper in the building, man. How you doing? What's happening, yo? What's happening? What's happening? I'm doing good. How about you? Yes, sir. Doing great, man. Uh, real excited to do this interview. Uh, I've been chomping mm -hmm. at the bit to get you on. So real appreciate, uh, really appreciate the time for you to sit yes, down. Sir. and appreciate uh, you having me. Yes, sir. Of course, man. Yeah. So um, if Duck fans don't know this already, just want to lay down a little intro for you. Uh, on three consensus. I uh, work for on three with scoopduck.com here. So they got you listed at a uh, six foot five, 195 pounds wide receiver coming out of Williams field high school out there in Gilbert, Arizona. He announced his commitment to Oregon on April 17th. So newest duck, man. Can I get a go ducks from you before we start? <laughs> go ducks, go. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir, man. Really yes, excited. Man. Really excited. All right. Me well, too, let's, let's start out by talking uh, about yourself here a little bit. Uh, Let's start out with your father, man. Uh, your father, Kevin yeah. Casper, uh, played at mm -hmm. Iowa from uh, 97 yeah. to 2001. Uh, how do you yeah. think that shaped you into the becoming uh, the man you are today for, uh, from him uh, um, having that college experience? Yeah, um, obviously. So he actually had no offers. And she, he was a walk on Iowa, actually. So me and oh, him wow. took a – yeah, we took a different routes to college. But his uh, – his college experience was he loved every little bit of it. And, you know, he always tells me about it and just really tells me how focused I got to stay throughout the entire thing. It's going to be a lot of distractions, going to be a lot of complications, but I got to stay locked in and stay focused. It's, it's a business now. Once you get to that level, you know, high school is the last little bit. Obviously, it's going to be fun. It should be fun. You know, that's the reason everybody plays it. But you really got to lock in and look at it like a business because my goal and dreams is to get to the league. So, to do that, I got to lock in and do my thing over there at Oregon. Yes, sir. You're uh, talking about getting to the league. Your father also played in the league for a little bit. Did it staying nope. there. Um, so that's big time, man. <laughs> um, with your with your uh, father, uh, did you get a chance to uh, watch him as a kid or watch some of his highlights? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I used to always watch his his uh, he has some highlight videos on YouTube, so I always watch those. But yeah, I, I ended, uh, ended up going to a couple games when I was younger. Obviously, I was. I was younger, so I don't really remember much, but I got some pictures and stuff like that to look back on. So that's been cool. Oh, yeah, that's real awesome, man. Um, speaking mm -hmm. about that, when you got into the game of football, um, I bet you started yeah. early. What what age did you start playing football? Uh, so I started flag when I was five, like five and six, and then I tackled when I was seven, so in second grade. Yep. Nice, man. Yeah, building up that skill. Yep. Um, your father, exactly. uh, did he play a big role in your development early on? Uh, yeah, I've been training with him since I started. So when I was five, I've been training with him. And then he had a uh, – uh, we had a little training facility back in Chicago because I'm from Chicago, actually. We moved oh, nice. down to Arizona when I was uh, uh, 12. So, yeah, so I was in the – in the uh, every day at the school would be training and then have football. So I've been working with him ever since five years old, I think, is why I started really training. Okay, nice, man. Yeah, let's talk about your hometown, mm -hmm. Chicago, a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. So were you born there in Chicago? Well, actually, I was born in Arizona with my posse with the Cardinals. And then I was here for a little bit, like less than a year. And then we moved to Chicago, and I was uh, brought up there until I was 12. So in, like, middle school, we had moved back to Arizona and then been here since then. So, yeah. Great, man. Yeah, I love to hear it, mm -hmm. man. Um, growing yep. up watching football and stuff as a youngin, um, did you have a favorite sports hero? Um, it's probably always changed throughout, but I say one of my favorite players right here. Uh, I don't get to see it. I don't know. I was gonna know. Yeah, that's, that's nice. all, ever since I was yeah, ever since I was a little kid, I've always had that. Or I had to get a new one. We came down here, but he's always been my favorite basketball player of all time. Football wise, it kind of bounces around everywhere. Obviously, Kevin Johnson. I like the tall dudes because I'm six five, so I like yeah. looking at receivers. I can really compare myself to. So yeah, Kevin Johnson. He was. I mean, that's he's a freaking nature. But um, right now in the league, I watch a lot of like Randy Moss and then all the shorter receivers too. Because you know, I try not to just 
compare myself to a tall receiver, I want to be able to run routes like a shorter receiver as well. So, you know, all, all the receivers are now involved in the league. So. Yeah, 100%, man. Um, watching your tape, you definitely got that size and you got that speed to, uh, to go with it in those hands, man. It's just yes, unbelievable. Sir. So, real excited to have you as a duck for sure. Um, so, yeah. when you're, when you're uh, getting ready for these big-time games, man, I know you played in a couple already, but uh, college is a little different, man. Uh, do you have mm-hmm. any favorite songs to listen to to, you know, calm those butterflies a little bit? Ooh, um, it, I mean, that changes – uh, throughout, I want to say songs because you know that changes, but Young Boy, everybody, I know a lot of people like Young Boy Bob, then that's been my favorite for yeah. some years now. So, I, so throw some Young Boy on there, whoever's like the popular artist at the time, whoever's got the good music, throw them on too, whatever the songs are. But yeah, Young Boy, and then some old, like if I'm really feeling like some Chief Key, some old Chicago music, oh, <laughs> yeah. That on too. <laughs> but yeah, so it just depends, it just depends, bro. Love it, man. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Uh, I I would say like all out of all the recruits I interview, I'd say like eight out of I'd say eight out of ten of them, man. Listen to they always list Young Boy. <laughs> that that is a good, that's a good one to get uh, piped uh, piped up to, man. Hyped up for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sorry. man. Well, uh, let's talk about your game a little bit. Uh, where do you feel most confident in your game? What would you say? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just so my game. I try to really, you know, obviously I know I'm tall. I'm gonna go up and get the uh, go up and get the jump ball, but I really, I really uh, like working on my routes. I want to be a route technician because if you are six five plus, I'm six, I've been measured six five and a half everywhere, everywhere I've been to actually without without uh, cleats and shoes on. So if I'm that height and then be able to run routes as if I'm five eleven six foot, that's that's really like my goal. I'm be able to get in all the breaks as fast as possible, run the whole route tree, not be limited at all. Oh, yeah, love so. it man yeah big time big yeah. time man for sure yeah. all right well speaking of that man you got all those skills <laughs> listed for sure stuff that you're working mm-hmm. on um what one word best describes you on the field would you say um, i'll just i'll probably say unique because you don't really see there's it, it is unique to find a, a receiver like me and i know i know i'm unique now i'm gonna go prove you know i'm unique in high school but i'm gonna go prove i'm unique in college as well uh, yeah 100 percent, man i definitely agree with that that's a great answer for sure unique 100 percent. i yeah. think uh i think that was the same answer we gave when we first talked and first met and stuff so yeah i, I would mm-hmm. agree with you man um yeah, you sorry. don't see a lot of receivers your size uh be able to do what you can do you know for sure mm-hmm. um sure. <clears throat> let's get into this man uh so if your freshman year is coming up you're gonna have those big games you know big time uh we, we we spoke a little about your music taste and what you do to calm those uh butterflies is there anything else that yeah. you can give uh athletes a tip on maybe uh things that you do to calm your butterflies uh while competing pregame um really i say a huge thing a huge thing in all sports really is just confidence you gotta just go in there knowing that obviously it's gonna take time and just just, you know, a time that's what builds confidence and just knowing, making plays and knowing that I got, and obviously I'm not going to say I'm not going to have a, a little bit of butterflies here and there, but once I get that first cracker, that first catch or something, and I'm, I'm good, I'm rolling. So, you know, yeah, just confidence, go, go in there, know you're going to do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Uh, confidence is huge, uh, especially huge. as a freshman coming in. Confidence is, I, I feel like, probably eighty percent of the thing that to get going. Because yeah, you know, you guys coming mm-hmm. in, you guys can all play. There's a reason why you're, you know, you're getting recruited here. Um, it's just, mm-hmm. I feel like confidence is huge. And one huge. thing I always like to say is like. <laughs> confidence with with freshmen especially uh coming in when you make a bad play uh it it tends to hurt your confidence you know but i always like Mm -hmm. to say to freshmen man don't let don't let the bad plays when you make a bad play you miss a block or something don't let it affect you just take it as a lesson because at the end of the day they're all lessons you know for sure man you can't let it affect you cannot do that yeah 100 Mm -hmm. man gotta keep your head high all right, man. Well, speaking of that, man, uh, what age did you start to feel like you were becoming elite at the sport and a little better than the others around you, would you say? Um, well, I say I've always been, you know, since younger, growing up, like playing football, I've always been, a, I'm not going to sit here and like say anything, but, you know, I've always been pretty good at football. And then freshman year, um, I had, I think, like 17 touchdowns or something that season. I had a real good season. 
Wow. So freshman okay. year was fun. Yeah. And then, uh, and then just every, every year since then, just been doing my thing. So I say ever since I was young, ever since I got introduced to sport, I just, I've always loved football so much. I love all, all sports, anything competitive. I really love so much. I take everything real competitive. So, you know, since the beginning. Yeah. A hundred percent. Have you always been kind of taller than the others as well? Um, not well. Okay. So growing up, my best friends, uh, Caden Cobb, he's at Ball State quarterback. Tyler Morris, he's a receiver at Michigan. And then Reggie Flame, another receiver at Northwestern. Okay. I was out of all of them, I was by far the shortest. So growing <laughs> up, I was like by far the shortest. So, I mean, I was like not like short, but I was like average height. Like, they were all kind of tall. And then um, when I moved down here, still around like average height. And then really, Around three, two, three years ago, I started shooting up. So now I oh, wow. see all them, and I'm the tallest by far, and they're shorter than me. So it's kind of fun. But yeah, probably two, two, three years ago, I shot up actually 11 inches in 13 months, which is ridiculous. But wow. I had a huge, huge growth spurt in it. Yeah, that's that's when everything. Yeah, that's insane, man. Basically. Well, I bet uh, you know, God was looking out for you, man. He just <laughs> yeah. out there. Uh, I know it's crazy. Uh, for sure. All right, well, let's switch gears here, man. Let's start talking about Oregon football and, and what you're excited about, man. What are you excited most for this upcoming uh, freshman season of yours, man? Just to get in there, you know, just compete just at the next level. I'm, I feel like I'm just really ready to just I'm done, be done with high school and go compete with some some real dogs out there. Just Everybody's going to be a dog in college football. I mean, we open up with Georgia game one. So I need to, yeah. you know, get down there, you know, get obviously keep my head on right, work, work my tail off, and then, uh, you know, figure out the playbook. A lot of it's mental too, so you know, I got to get the playbook down. That's obviously gonna be difficult because in high school everything's pretty simplicated and all that stuff. So, um, it's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. But working on it right now, I'm gonna continue working on it. So, try to get that down, and then just see what happens from there. But just work, get in. I'm trying to, I, I, I want to play this year. I think I can. I think there's no reason I shouldn't. So, yeah. hundred percent, man. Yeah. In your situation, let's, let's talk about it, man. It's a unique situation. What happened with you? You were originally a 2023 recruit. And uh, on the day you committed, uh, I think shortly, a little after that, you went ahead and reclassified as a 2022 guy. So what went into that, man? Uh, and how does that work exactly for fans that don't exactly know how, you, how what yeah. goes into reclassifying? And, um, yeah, what, what made you uh, choose that decision and go ahead and get in early? Um, so first of all, I'll start how it works real quick. Just how it's got to do. All I really got to do is just the uh, credits I got to do next year and just take some summer school classes. So I'll be enrolling a bit late to Oregon. I'll be there July 17th, I think, is the day. Cause I got to get those summer school classes done, but once those are done, I'm good to go. And um, you know, I'm just I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get to the next level. Like I said before, it's just high school football. I wasn't really wasn't looking appealing to just play another year. I was I'm ready to get to get down there and get to working with those guys. I feel like I'm more at that level than a high school level right now. So there really wasn't any uh, really any benefits to it. But that's that's really the reasons. Okay, nice, man. Yeah, well, I will. I know Duck fans are real excited. And personally, I was shocked. I was like, "Oh, wow!" I because ne- yeah. you see that in basketball a lot, but football you don't really see it too much. Yeah, and, uh, yeah man, real mm-hmm. excited to see what's happening. And uh, I think the the yes, wide receiver sir. room needed you, man, for sure. There's not yeah. a receiver out there that that has your frame and, and ability. So, you know, I, I I really excited to see what you could do. Uh, you committed to Oregon April seventeenth to uh, first year head coach mm-hmm. Dan Lanning. Um, he was yeah. a national championship uh, defensive coordinator for Georgia previously before coming yeah. to Oregon here. Um, what mm-hmm. puts your uh, trust into Dan Lanning? Uh, he's a first year head coach. You know, there's some question marks in the media about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, he did big things there at Georgia as well. So mm-hmm. what, what puts your trust yep. into Dan Lanning? Um, I, Dan is just, Coach Lanning is just different from all the other head coaches I've been around. You know, most most head coaches, you just – basically everyone, you really get that, like, head coach vibe from them almost <laughs> where, you know, it's almost you can't – you don't feel comfortable, like, being able to talk to them or, like, beyond football. And Coach yeah. Lennon, you know, from the, from the get-go, I felt real comfortable with him being able to, like, talk to him. And obviously he knows what he's doing 
the the huge questions that he's a defensive minded coach, all that, and not going to pass the ball. I mean, we saw what happened during spring game. They was airing it out. So, yeah. you know you're going to pass the ball. Coach Dillingham wants to spread the ball. But, yeah, back to Coach Landon. He's just a great, great guy, a great family man. Just a great – he's going to mold me into a great football player, but also a great man at the same time. Not really trust him to do that, so. Awesome, man. Love to hear it. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the coaches. Uh, your position coach is Junior Adams. Um, yep. how, how, that, that, how did that um, uh, relationship originally develop, and um, how did how is it today with Junior Adams? Uh, coach Adams is great. You know, that's my guy. Coach Adams is real cool. Ever since uh, I, I met him, too, you know, he's a, his vibe. You know, he's laid. He's real laid back, but he's still going to get on. He's not just because he's laid back doesn't mean anything. Thing. you know he's, he's yeah. laid back but you know he he has a he really looks out for all his receivers so he wants the best for them like personally beyond football as well like I know I know if I go there he's got me back he's gonna he's got my back my bad he's gonna he's gonna take care of me as much as he possibly can and coaching a bit coaching wise too you know he knows what he's talking about obviously coach Cooper Cup everybody saw what he did this year so yeah, he he knows what he's talking about, and being being in the meetings and seeing how he runs the room and stuff, I really respect him as a coach and as a man, and can't wait to work for him. Hundred percent, yeah, man. Junior Adams is is a killer, man. Real experience around the Pac-12 for years. Um, yeah. so uh, let's speak about uh, some of the guys on the team. Uh, any, anybody on the team right now that you're you're a little closer than with the others? Maybe like a best friend type type vibe. Uh, I I know I say I know Dante Thornton the most. Okay. You know? So yeah, I've been he was probably the first person I talked to. So I've been talking to him for for a while. Dante Thornton, nice man. Uh, so you've been mm -hmm. talking to him for a while. When did that uh, uh relationship start out? Um, I think the first uh, yeah the first time I went up there, I met you know all all the guys in the water room. They're all real cool dudes. So that that was a big thing. A bit another big thing from here is hearing from the White House what they have to say because or mm -hmm. not even just the White House, the players in general, because they're gonna they're gonna keep it real with you no matter what. If they don't like a coach, a certain coach, <laughs> something, how something is, they're they're gonna tell you they're not gonna um so what's up? I'm on a thing. <laughs> You're good. But um yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna keep it real with you and and let you know everything. So hearing from all of them, they really had nothing bad to say at all you know they kept it real with me about everything and most places like yeah, there's a lot more negative than there's it was much more positive and the respect mm. for coach adams i could see it through, through the receivers as well so that was a huge thing for me awesome man yeah yeah big getting it from the source is always the best way to do it for sure straight exactly. to the source they're the ones <laughs> going through it so yeah, hundred percent. So Oregon brought in a, a big time twenty twenty two class uh, that was really dismantled when Mario left, and sh in a very short time, the staff was put together and did their thing. Man, really got mm -hmm. out there. Um, any recruits in this twenty twenty two class that uh, you're really excited to play with in specific? Um, I I don't know. I, I want to say in specific, they're all they're awesome dogs. You know, the de defensive side got a lot of got a lot of dogs as well. Yeah. But um, Justice Low, obviously, you know, the wide out. So that's going to be cool to work with him. And he's already been there for a little bit. So even mm. just start learning stuff from him because he knows a little bit more than me. He's been there. So, you yeah. know, picking up everything from, from those receivers. But not specifically, just the whole – I know they got some some goons at uh, the DB position. So that's going to be yeah. fun to go against that in practice as well and then work, work against those guys. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm excited to see what this DB room can can do. It's f a fairly yeah. new defensive backfield for Oregon. You know, yep, um, all yep. all American Verone McKinley left and stuff like that. So we're gonna need need to see what these guys can do, man. Highly rated yeah. recruited guys. So very excited to see. Um, all right, up. man. So we talked about you know what what you're good at uh, on the field and stuff, and what you're mm -hmm. what you really excel at. Uh, what is one thing you feel like you might need to work on your game coming into your freshman season? Um, I say, uh, just, um, uh, speed, strength, like all the, all the little things. I want to say there's a exact one thing. Cause I, I really, to be honest, I need to work on everything. It's not like I've mastered the craft. There's, you, you can't master it. You can always, there's always room for improvement. So just getting in and out of routes faster, 
getting the whole running the whole route tree then and, and then obviously every uh system is going to run a little different so from my high school system to college uh, there's going to be some uh some differences so i gotta you know figure those out uh get it down in the route tree and then just yeah just speed just get it in and out of breaks routes all that going up making sure i catch every 50 50 ball so it's not yeah. 50, 50, it's 100 you know what i'm saying so yeah yes. all that Love it, man. Yeah, great, great. Love to hear it, man. Just keep working. Sure. Um, so yes, sir. big time schedule for Oregon. Uh, any uh, opponents in specific you're looking forward to playing on the schedule this next year? Um, I not in specific. I mean, Georgia's is gonna be cool off the rip, you know, because Lena comes yeah. from there, so that's gonna be. Really I'll be cool. there, man. I'll be there. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, hopefully I'm in there playing. Uh, you know. Yeah, but, for sure. Yeah, Georgia would be cool. Arizona is going to be cool because we're going to play ASU this year, but Arizona, that's that's where a lot of, you know, my friends and family will be able to come up and see that game. So I'm looking forward yeah. to that. But, uh, yeah, just, I mean, every game, really, really every game. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Maybe Love game. it, man. Yep, yep. 100%, man. Eat your enemies, man. That's a, I think that's what mm-hmm. they got there at Oregon. Like, they got all the enemies and where you go eat and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no. Love it, man. Yep. Yes, All right. So speaking about like the program, of Oregon, man, uh, what attracted you most about Oregon? Like when you committed this, what was like something you could be like, all right, this was it. This is the selling point. Um, The, the coaching staff as a whole, to be honest with you, it's at, at most schools, you're going to find one or two coaches you, you really like and respect and, and can trust. And I feel like over at Oregon, I feel like that with the entire staff, I don't think there's one person I don't feel like that with it's it's really uh it's really unique to find the whole staff that that is like that. So it's really yeah. the whole staff and then yeah, coach coach Adams, receiver coach by far, he's been the best uh receiver coach I've been around. So nice. I'm just really looking forward to work with him as well. Excellent, man. hundred mm-hmm. percent. Uh what goals do you have set for yourself your freshman season in specific? With with this season, what do you want to accomplish? Um I know I need to, I need to write some goals down. <laughs> but my, I mean, my main goal is really to just you know get in there. I want to under get to get to understand the whole playbook where I'm not having to ask other players around. You know, get it down. It's gonna take a lot of time and study and all that. But get the playbook down. I want to get in play. I want to I want to go ball out this year, which I feel like there's no reason I should not be able to. So that's the main goal: is go ball out this year. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Yeah, like I, I was gonna say that. Like you mentioned it kind of already earlier in the interview that uh, you want to get in there and play, and that that is yeah. big, a big goal for sure, a, a real, yeah. a real yeah. realistic goal for you this uh, freshman season. So I'd love, I love to see it. I'd love to see mm-hmm. you not only get in, but you know, kill it when you get in too. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, sure. um, all right. This is the last question I have for you, man. Really appreciate the time. Uh, what yeah, goals do you have set in your Oregon career when it's all said and done? You're going to the NFL, man. What do you want to hope to have mm-hmm. done here at Oregon? Well, I I want to I need to do some more research, but I want to you know break the single uh, season receiving catches, yards, touchdowns, all that. I want to I want to be able to break every record. You know that's okay. that's something a lot of people say, but I'm I'm really, my dad did that at Iowa most. Damn near every record, so you know nice. I want to do that over here at Oregon, and then just just go ball out, get to the league, and do what I have to do, and be a good be a good influence to everyone around me on the team as well. Be a positive outlook to uh, the fans, everybody. Just just be a positive inf- impact on the entire program and so. Love to hear it, man. Yeah, I, I only That's expect it. big things, man. I'm so, so That's excited it. as not only as a journalist, but as a fan, lifelong fan of Oregon, man. Uh, see what you That's can it. do, man. I In my lifetime, I have not seen as many uh, like a wide receiver that that like that looks like you, man, like six foot five can That's run it. and catch and do it all, man. So I, I think, you know, I really believe, you know, when you get there and you soak it all up like a sponge, man, and um you know, and you make those little mistakes, but you, you take those as lessons. You're only going to get better, yep. and you, you're going to be a star here, man. I have no doubt, and uh, I, I really appreciate, appreciate the time, man, for sure. Uh, yes, Duck I appreciate fans, you having me on. Yeah, no worries, man, anytime. <laughs> uh, I always like to get you guys on uh, whenever I can. 
And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, Duck fans, uh, I'm your host, Dominic Peterson, aka Duck Zone 503. If you guys like content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you're ready to see Kyler Casper win a Heisman, bring a national championship to Oregon, mm-hmm. break records, Sorry. all that, man. Uh, Kyler, do you want to shout out any uh, social medias uh, for Duck fans so they can go follow you? Yeah, um, Instagram, Kyler.Casper, Twitter, Casper Kyler. That's about it. So yeah, all go, right. go blow that up for me. Yes, sir, man. Really love your time. Really yeah. love the time. This was a great conversation to get to know you, man, a little more uh, as the person and Duck fans can get to know you. And, uh, man, we're looking forward to you to just ball out. Mm-hmm. Got to get it go, Ducks, before we go? <laughs> yes, sir. Go, Ducks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, Ducks. Go, Ducks. <laughs> Can't wait to get down there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know how to do it. Yes, sir.